Now I'm going to take you through how to change the direction control device on an MX-8. The first step is to remove the track off of the side that you want to replace. Next, remove this one screw that holds the side body panel onto the unit. It helps if you open the lid of the MX-8 to create clearance. And then by lifting with your finger underneath this tab, this assembly will come off. Here you can see the drive shaft miter gear that contacts the miter gear inside of the direction control device. To separate these two parts, there's one self-tapping screw on the inside. With the Phillips screwdriver, just remove that as well. After the screw is removed, just pull the two parts apart, and then the direction control device is free. So again, as the cleaner cams move around to the pivots, You'll see, the, you'll see the black pulley switch from going counterclockwise over to clockwise. This spot right here is where the pulley stops. This is our neutral position. Nothing is happening when I turn the pulley. If I turn to the top, you can see why. As, as the pulley is in the neutral position, it's able to shift between this miter gear and this miter gear. That's what changes the direction. This gear is always moving in the same direction. So we switch the pulley from one side to the other using these cams, which changes the output direction of the black pulley. So as I continue to push down with my finger, you'll see the cams continue to move past the neutral position. The pulley is now going clockwise, which means it's in reverse. As I continue to move through, you'll see another neutral position. The pulley is moving clockwise. Now it's in neutral, it stops and then switches back to counterclockwise, which means it's in the forward direction. The cleaner, if you click through the gear quickly, you'll see you move around to another set of cams. The pulley goes from counterclockwise into a neutral position, into the clockwise position, back to neutral, and back to counterclockwise. So a couple things to remember about the MX-8 direction control device gearbox. Um, when, when we move into the neutral position, this is just the time between forward and reverse. Just because the pulley moves back and forth very loosely does not mean anything is wrong with the gearbox. It's just the neutral position. If you continue to move the gear in the back around, to the, it will push into the reversing direction. And then as you continue, remember, there's another, there's another neutral position as it goes from reverse back to forward. The other thing you want to watch out for is we should never turn the black pulley as the input. The input needs to be on this input gear with just the way it is in the cleaner. If we turn the black pulley, a couple bad things can happen. As you can see right now, I'm moving in the correct direction, counterclockwise for forward. As I continue to move around, when I hit the neutral position, which is between forward and reverse, you can see I'm, I'm continuing to turn. I get to a pos position where I'm turning the black pulley, but I could be in either direction or I could be in neutral and nothing happens. So this is the output. You must, you must turn the gear as the input. If you try to use the output pulley to drive the system, it does not work properly. You get into the neutral position that it doesn't actually drive. The other issue that we can cause is if we drive just going to move it around the floor here. If I drive the pulley in the wrong direction by turning it clockwise, it will make the whole system work in reverse. The problem with that is our cams are moving through the pivot in the wrong direction, and when we get into this position here, we're putting a load on the system. The cams are made to slide past each other in one direction, and when we go the other direction, it can lock up the system. So right now, as I'm turning this pulley, I can feel that there is a load being put on the system and eventually we will break the little teeth on the cams or on the pulley. Now we'll go over a couple issues to watch out for. The first issue is the, the tightness of the drive pulley. The drive pulley, when in gear, 
should be relatively tight within the system. As you remember, when we move the cams into position, this is going in the forward direction. As the cams get ready to move into reverse, there is a neutral position shown there. When the cleaner is in neutral position, the gearbox is very loose left to right. It's loose because we're not fully engaged in forward or yet fully engaged in reverse. As you can see from the top, the gears could be in either direction. So just because the drive pulley is sloppy in this position does not mean something is wrong. If you continue to move the gear around, the unit will fully shift into position as you continue to move from reverse back to forward. Again, the pulley gets into a tight position again. So looseness on the pulley likely means the unit is in reverse, not that there's something wrong. The other potential issue to watch out for is driving the gearbox by turning the black output pulley. This is meant to be the output of the gearbox. This gear is the input of the gearbox, just like it works in the cleaner. If you turn this black pulley, depending on the direction, a couple bad things can happen. If you turn counterclockwise, which is the appropriate forward direction, you'll see that as the cams move around, you can see the blue cam moving up, we will get into that neutral position. When we're in that neutral position, when I turn the pulley, nothing happens. The pulley is free spinning. If you look up, you remember the gears are not interfacing. They're in, the, they're in between the forward and the reverse direction. So that doesn't mean anything is wrong with the gearbox. It's just that we're turning the output gear. We should be turning the input gear. The other thing that can happen is we, we can have a problem if we turn the black pulley in the reverse direction. So I'll move the cams through their normal positions, reversing, then back to forward. If I now turn this pulley in the wrong direction, which is clockwise, you'll see I'm trying to move the cams past the points of the pivot. The problem with this is the ge geometry between the pivot and the cams is supposed to slide past each other. If those two points hook on each other because they're going in reverse, you can cause damage to the unit. So by turning this output pulley in the wrong direction, we can lock up. Right now, this is starting to get stress on it, I can feel, because the two points are engaging in the wrong direction. If I continue to turn this, especially if I use a drill on under high load, we will break off the little plastic parts on the inside and cause damage. Always turn the gearbox by turning this input gear and it will, prop it will function properly.